Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing yet another chit chat get ready with me. I wrote down a couple topics that I wanted to cover. But before we get into this video, make sure to subscribe if you have not already and let's just get into the video. Oof, my freaking eyeball, dude. So I have boba as well um, for my local boba shop. I'm just going to be doing my everyday makeup routine slash my summer makeup routine right now. It is 1.23 and I have to go get my second vaccination at 3, which means I have to leave at 2.30. So I have like about an hour to film this video. So for my eyebrows, um, I'm going to be using the same pomade that I've used in all of my chit chat. Get ready with me. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. You guys, if you're OG subscribers, you know the story of this pomade. I'm barely hitting pan to it. You see that right there? That's that's the bottom of it. The first thing that I want to cover is I got my belly button pierced. I've been wanting my belly button pierced for a hot minute. I finally got it pierced one day. Me and my friend Vanessa went to go get it done actually. She got her tongue pierced and I got my belly button pierced and it was very spontaneous. Like one day she just hit me up and was like, do you want to go get piercings? And I was like, yes I do. Um, I'll put in footage because I actually vlogged that. I'm gonna go get piercings! Yeah, I left on all the sides. I'm scared. I'm gonna get my belly button pierced. I'm gonna get it so You're good. I'm scared. <laughs> it's so good. But yeah, so I got my belly button pierced. Next thing, I also got my driver's license. You guys know if you've been subscribed to me for a while that I've been wanting to get my license for a minute. I started it when I was a freshman, like the whole process. Look how good I look. I just like, I can't, I look so good. But yeah, I got my driver's license. I have a car. She's a gray Nissan Sentra 2011. Um, she was my mom's, she was my mom's in the 80s. So her name's Deborah. Um, she's a little, she's a little jank, but that's okay. Like, she survives, she gets me places, so. I'm going to be cleaning up my eyebrows with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Deep Sand. Just in case you have, like, a similar skin tone to me. I've been driving to and from work, and I'll get into work later on, but I've been driving those places. I've been going to go get gas. I'm being an adult, guys. Okay, so now that I have outlined them, I'm going to take my beauty blender, my false beauty blender that I got from the 99 cent store. Um, I should be doing a drive with me before I leave for college, which that's another topic that I wanted to discuss. I don't have a tripod in the car, so I have to get one. I don't know if there's going to be one big enough for my camera because I have the Canon M50. I just have to like, I don't know, get a vlogging camera. Oh no, that was awesome. Got it guys, I fixed it. After the brows, I usually just like brush them up with the spoolie. Okay, so now that we do the eyebrows, I'll usually move into eyes. So I'll do like the eyes first. So what I've been really loving lately is eyeshadow. Eyeliner eyeshadow that makes sense, like brown eyeshadow or brown eyeliner and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be using the Kylie Jenner pressed powder palette. I don't even know which one this is. I don't know, but it looks like that. So I'm going to take this brown color and I'm going to put it in the outer corner. Um, brown doesn't really show up that well on me because I'm brown skin tinted. And then I will get this color, this gold color, which is called Bumble. I'm going to put it only on the bottom. Okay, let's move on to another topic. I got a job, guys. I work at my local El Polo Loco. So that's the eye makeup. Mm -hmm. Ew. I will do my concealer after that, but I'll use my, my darker shade because it's summer right now. I'm gonna take the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline in tan. Anyways, my job, uh, I have a job. I'm a cashier, I've been working there since February. I don't know how I really feel about it because I used to hate working there because 
my managers were like always so rude to me like disrespectful you never really notice or realize how stupid people are until you work as a cashier until you work in retail because it i just i don't understand it at all like how can like you're an idiot sometimes i want to say that to customers like you're a literal idiot what are you talking about so um, i put in my two weeks because i'm going to be leaving for college in a little bit and like i said before i'll get into that later um i have to go to work today actually i work at five i usually just close when i work um i'll work like five six hours seven hours eight hours maybe um but i usually close uh, i like closing better than opening i worked opening before i don't like it nearly as much because it's always extremely busy in the mornings and then like half of your day is gone but nighttime i'm a night owl anyways so i don't really mind it the manager in charge at nighttime is usually more lenient like i'm like i'm tired i want to go home and be like okay go bye i'm like oh good period so i also want to get into my hair color um you can't really tell but you can tell in other videos and like the light and stuff you can see it slightly it's like red but it's also purple um I don't know how to explain it like it's a mixture of both i want to cut my hair like really short you see it's like this i cut it a little bit but i want it like like a little bob and i want it like a lion's mane like i see all of those gorgeous pictures of curly hair it's like they have a lion's mane and i want that so the next thing i'm gonna do is powder uh, i don't really wear powder that much but i am really oily all the time i have really oily skin so i'm going to be using the huda beauty powder in cinnamon buns i try not to wear a lot of makeup in the summertime because it's summertime you sweat a lot get oily greasy more acne stuff like that i will go in with mascara so the mascara that i'll be using is mac uh i think this is the 3d so the next thing i want to get into is my tattoo i have a tattoo i got it a couple days after my 18th birthday i'm thinking about getting a new one because i love tattoos like i've always just loved tattoos i love tattooing my body it didn't hurt that bad it actually didn't hurt at all for me like after a while it started to get like not hurt but there was just pressure because like there's a needle going into your skin but it's like when you uh have an itch and you scratch and you're just like ah oh, it feels great but then when you keep scratching it, it starts to hurt like i don't know how to that's the best way i can explain it like when you scratch it really hard and it starts to hurt i don't know this is what it looks like i can't really see it's an infinity sign and it has a bunch of roman numerals under it it's my sister's birthday and she has the same tattoo with my birthday on it i'm definitely gonna get more i want to get finger tattoos and a big tattoo on my thigh fun fact though when i first got my tattoo the tattoo guy messed it up but you can't you probably wouldn't know unless i told you but that brown part right there is my skin and i'll show you a picture of what it looked like when he messed it up so funny because that's like the second time he's ever messed up ta a tattoo before and he was like my luck it would be my first time in my tattoo so but basically what happened was like you have to print a decal so you like a stencil so you can paste it on the skin so you can like write over and tattoo over it so he printed that and it printed backwards on accident and because his machine was tripping and he tattooed it and then he didn't realize until halfway through the tattoo or until it was almost done and he was like crap so he went to the back and he didn't tell me but i kind of knew because he kept going getting up and going back and forth to go like to the back and fix stuff so i was like what's happening but there's that uh he fixed it very well like you can't even tell i'm sure you've seen in my other videos like my tattoo but i've never addressed it so there's that the next thing i want to cover is i moved again so as you can see i'm in a new location i'm not in the apartment anymore i moved close to november october ish moved into an actual house this time it's not an apartment i'll do a room tour pretty soon as well that was so disrespectful I'll do a room tour as well before I leave for college because I leave in a little bit but my room is basically how I want it right now. Um, I'm happy with it and happy how it looks right now so I'll do a room tour pretty soon. I have two windows so I have this one and then I have one right there which is why there's more light. I don't have to worry about like being quiet for the people under me because it's just my living room downstairs. I don't have to worry about screaming kids but no actually I do because um there's always kids screaming outside for some reason. And they'll be up at like 11 o'clock at night. It's just like, who does that? I don't even know. The next thing I want to cover is turning 18. I am an adult, a legal adult right now. Um, it felt really weird when I first turned 18. And actually, at first it didn't feel any different, but now it feels really weird because I'm actually handing, handling my own stuff. And it feels really good because I'm a very independent person and I like to do things by myself and on my own. Um, so... 
it feels really different i don't know um but <laughs> yeah there's that it's been dookie like i have not been doing the best mentally if i'm gonna be honest if i rate it on a scale of one to ten it'll probably like be a one because this is the worst depression i've ever experienced depression and anxiety i'm trying to hold on and i'm trying to push through uh i'm trying to not let it affect me but a lot of days it does affect me and a lot of days it hits me and it's for no reason at all like it you can Ask me, Brenna, what's wrong? I don't freaking know. Like, me. <laughs> I don't- my thoughts is what's wrong. But I've been trying to get back on my feet and really surround myself with the my lo most loving friends and people to make it better and talk about my feelings. And it's very hard for me to talk about my feelings because I feel like nobody cares. I don't want to burden people with my feelings, so I don't like to talk about it. And also, when I've talked about my feelings in the past, nobody really listened. So, or they've always criticized me about it, so I've never really opened up about that. I feel like I should try to now and try to be more comfortable with that. And if I don't talk about it, I'll usually write about it, which journaling has helped a lot. Like, if you're going through anxiety or depression, journaling has helped me tremendously because I get my feelings out somehow and I don't have anybody judging me. It's just, it's just in the book. Um, and I also like to journal because I like to see where my progress is at. Um, so I can look back on the days and be like, okay, I was getting better or crap, I'm getting worse, but I can do something to make my life better and make me happy. Cause I've never experienced happiness. Um, I feel like I've always kind of been like this and which sucks. Um, I've always had some type of thoughts, but just right now it's very severe. I try not to sit there that long and be depressed in my bed. Sometimes it takes me over and sometimes I don't want to get out of bed. Sometimes I don't want to eat. Sometimes I don't want interaction with people um, and that's fine. But a lot of days I try to like, okay, give myself a couple days, give myself a week at most and get up and start doing stuff because after that I kind of feel sorry for myself that I want to get up and do stuff so my relationship with God right now hasn't been the best if I'm gonna be honest um, I haven't been reading my Bible I haven't been doing my daily devotionals I haven't even been praying that often because I know depression is a really big part of it I don't want to blame it on that though because I'm in control of my relationship with him and that's what it's always gonna be like I feel like whenever i pray i don't hear anything back like i've never felt him before and i've never like i don't know i've just haven't had that connection where i felt him but after i started like being very depressed and, and having anxiety all the time i started to pray a lot more but when i would pray i would never feel him or i would never hear anything back and that was a big part of me like crap he's not even listening so why am i even gonna bother and it wasn't that I was mad at him, I totally wasn't, but I was more mad at myself because I was like, it's your fault, you can't even hear him, so why are you, like, it's just more of my thoughts getting to me and the devil trying to get to me, but, and a lot of people seem to think that Christians and followers of Christ don't go through hardships, we definitely do, there's a lot of Christians and followers of Christ who go through depression and go through anxiety and stuff like that like we all have trials and tribulations I feel like a lot of people judge Christians a lot more because they're seen as these perfect people when we're definitely not we make mistakes too and we sin so I also want to talk about God and Jesus more on my channel I feel like I haven't been doing that this brings me into my next topic relationships right now there's nothing going on I don't have anyone I'm talking to I don't have anyone I'm interested in for the first time I feel I'm happy being single well I've always been happy being single but I'm okay right now like I don't need anybody to make me feel a type of way I don't know I don't have a crush I nobody I'm interested in right now I mean don't get me wrong there's people I'm like dang you're fine like but I don't have a crush or anything like that. I'm not talking to anyone. I'm not dating anyone. I'm totally 100% single. I'm a hopeless romantic, so love is always gonna catch my eye. Sometimes I do get sad because I'm like, <laughs> I want my Edward Cullen. I'm obsessed with Twilight, but I mean, it just, I don't really care that much. So, so before I get into my last topic, I'm going to um, 
do the highlight. So I wear two highlighters, which is very ironic. So these are the two I wear, but I'm gonna show you after that. The first highlighter I wear is the Becca highlighter. I don't know which one this is. It's a brown one. Topaz, it's called Topaz. And it looks like that. I kind of go in a circle. This one's not very pigmented or not very uh, shimmery like that, but I kind of like it as like a little glow. I also have another highlighter. This one's a liquid one. If I want a little bit more, um, I'll use this liquid highlighter. Then after that, I will go in with Fenty Beauty. This one is Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. So I'll do that. And then blend it out with my finger a little bit so it doesn't look too harsh. And then I'll go in with the little one right here, the not as shimmery one, this one. And I'll go in on my brow bone. Um, I want to talk about high school, prom, college, stuff like that. So I just graduated, as you saw in my um, vlog, my last vlog. It was very emotional for me, but it was also very freeing because emotional because I know I'm not going to see any of those people ever again, and it's a sign that I'm actually growing up and adulting and doing my own thing. And it's uh, very exciting for that in the same reason because I'm going to be doing my own thing. I'm not going to see anybody, which means no judgment. Prom was very, very fun. I went with my, one of my, all of my best friends, Amori, Vanessa, Angelique. Kendall couldn't come, unfortunately, but it was very fun. But it was nice because I saw a lot of people that I haven't seen in a long time, especially since COVID. The next thing I want to talk about is college because I know everyone has a lot of questions on where I'm going and what's happening with school, like what's what's the issue. So college, I'm gonna talk about where I'm going. You guys probably already know where I'm going because it was announced um, in my last video in the vlog. But I'm going to Oakwood University, which is a Seventh-day Adventist college and an HBCU. I decided to go to a Seventh-day Adventist college because I want to grow my faith with the Lord. And I feel like being around that environment is going to help me, especially with people my age who are followers of christ as well so i feel like i'm going into that as well and being better at that um being around people who look like me and not always being around the marshmallow monsters and stuff like that I'm majoring in psychology so there's that the first day of school is august 9th but i'm flying out august 3rd because registration is the fourth the next day move-in day is the fourth so um, I'm gonna be flying out. It's in Alabama. It's in Huntsville, Alabama. So I'm very excited um, I'm gonna be living on campus. I'm living in a dorm. I met my roommate. Her name's Brianna It's very funny Brianna and Brenna Bree and Bree. So that's funny I just we were talking about it. And I just, we just thought it was funny, but it's very cool because she's a youtuber as well So she'll like whenever I pull a camera out like she won't have a problem with it Like we had this talk. We know what like what to expect of each other. So that's fun. Uh, like I said before, I put in my two weeks for my job because I'm going to be moving. So that gives me one week of just freedom from no work, no nothing. I can just relax and spend the last days with people who I love and my friends and family and stuff before I leave off to college. The semester ends in November, Thanksgiving break, so it ends a little earlier. So I'll come back and I'll actually do Vlogmas so that way there's no finals getting in the way. Um, and hopefully I'll upload a lot more. I'm gonna be uploading a lot more these past couple of weeks before I go to college. And finally, my lip gloss. The lip gloss I'm going to be using is Wish uh, Lip Balm and Watermelon. It looks like that. I think it's from Costco. But I got it for Christmas, so I love lip gloss, but whatever. So my setting spray is Mario Badescu. I know a lot of people, like this is kind of controversial because a lot, a lot of people don't like Mario Badescu because like apparently it gives you a lot of more acne. Um, I don't care, so. But yeah, I'm very excited to be going to college. Um, I leave in a couple weeks, so I should pack. Also, moving vlog, packing vlogs, like college vlogs are going to be coming soon as well. I'm planning all of my videos right now for the school year. Um, I don't know how often I will post uh, when I go to college because I'm gonna be busy a lot because it's college, so. I will definitely be vlogging my experiences and stuff like that. That was this video, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you wanna see more life update videos or makeup videos or anything like that. Also, make sure to subscribe if you have not already to see my face on your screen every single week. I hope you have a lovely, fantastic day, evening, night, whatever time you're watching this video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!